Hello comic book fans and uh, welcome to another Suddenly Comics video. Today I'm going to do something different. I had a comment on one of my videos from a US based viewer asking the difference between a pound, a quid and a pence. So I thought I would do a short video to explain the English currency, especially pre-1971 currency. This video will also be useful for anyone born after 1970 and anyone who is not English. So that's about 99% of the world then. The first thing to be aware of is that the currency changed in 1971 when decimalization occurred. Before 1971, the English currency was based on the number 12 and not the number 10. There were three key units of currency, the penny, the shilling, and the pound. There were 12 pennies in a shi 12 pennies in a shilling and 20 shillings in a pound and therefore 240 pennies in a pound. The currency was known as LSD. This is not anything to do with what hippies went tripping on in the 1960s but refers to Latin currency denominations Libre, Solidus and Denarius. So, when you see 10D on the price of a comic, this means 12 old English pennies. A quid is slang for a pound. This possibly comes from the Latin phrase quid pro quo, which means a favour granted in return for something. The shilling had the symbol of a forward slash with a hyphen next to it, which you can see on some comics with UK pricing pre-1971. A bob is, a sl is slang for a shilling. Taking the king's shilling meant enrolling in the army and someone who was a few bob short of a pound was someone who was a bit crazy. There were other coins as well as pennies and shillings. There were farthings which were worth a quarter of a penny and from which the phrase they haven't got two far farthings to rub together referring to fo re which referred to poor people. One of the earliest bicycles was known as a penny farthing because one wheel was big, like a penny, and one was small, like a farthing. There were three pence coins called thruppenny bits and six pence coins called a tanner. Both of these were originally made from silver and thought to bring luck. They would often be put in Christmas puddings for a lucky child to find or possibly to choke to death on. There are lots of songs with sixpence in the title and of course a film called Half a Sixpence which came from the practice of breaking a sixpence in half and one half being given to a loved one who was going away, often to war. There was also a florin which was two shillings and known as two bob, a half crown which was worth two shillings and six pence, a crown usually only issued on special occasions worth five shillings there was also a sovereign, a half sovereign and a guinea, which was worth 21 shillings. There was a 10 shilling note known as a 10 bob note. A pony is a slang phrase meaning 25 pounds and a monkey is 500 pounds. After 1971, a pound became worth 100 pence or 100 P. Life became less colourful and less connected to the past. The English have resolutely refused to join the Euro. I hope this has cleared things up a bit. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you've enjoyed this, press the like button and even better, subscribe. 